Oh, what's going on guys? Trick a letter here with another video and today I'm at the History Museum of Minnesota and we're gonna go into the weather simulator and you guys are going to find out what it's like to be in a tornado. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're heading there right now and it better record this time because last time it didn't record. Oh man. We're trying to, I'm trying to do a YouTube video for my channel of what it's like oh, to be yeah. in a tornado. And the first time it didn't record because I didn't have enough storage, so I had to delete some stuff delete now. <laughs> Alright. Got an apple bomb jeans. Boots with the fur. <laughs> Buxel. I tried recording the storm simulator for my YouTube channel, and guess what? What? I didn't have enough storage, so it stopped recording in the middle of it. Oh no. And I didn't get it, so I have to go in I have to go in the third time. This is my Miss Kripner got scared. It's <laughs> dark. <laughs> Fish, 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 fish. Wait, that doesn't even look like fish. It's just you fish and you catch a wood fish like that. Just... What? The jukes me. Press button to begin. All right, guys, we're going in right now. So you can just wait here till everyone gets out. All right. So wait, wait back here till everyone gets out. Oh, all right. So. All right, guys, we're going in right now. There we go. This is a better angle than last time. <laughs> I don't think we ever over it once you've been through it. The whole area it smelt like a battlefield. It just reeked. There were houses in the middle of the yeah. street. There was nothing, nothing intact. And all we saw was rubble and where houses had been. It was just the most grim thing I've ever seen. We interrupt this program with a weather advisory. The U.S. Weather Bureau has issued a tornado forecast for a portion of extreme north-central Iowa. I heard the news that there was tornado warnings. I told the boys, this is, uh, we've got to get home. Scattered severe thunderstorms with large hail, locally damaging winds, and the possibility of an isolated tornado. The sky got very dark and green, very green. It was green, but just before it came, the sky turned orange, and that's when the hail came. This is a dangerous storm with large hail. Stay indoors, away from windows. My mother had just gotten done washing the windows. The excitement in my husband's voice, as he says, get to the basement. He said, no, I'm going to watch out the front window. Should a tornado be sighted, the Weather Bureau advises that you go to the southwest corner of your basement for a small interior room. Before I even saw it, I smelled it. There was this sulfuric odor. It was just deafening. And then all of a sudden, I could feel the suction of this thing. Uh, I could feel us being picked up, actually coming off the basement floor. And when I looked up, it was a perfect funnel. It was just beautiful in the sky. My husband came running down just before that hit, and he said, I think our car is in the front room. And then a great big plank came in our basement window.
I remember not coming up from the basement until we heard voices calling outside. The stairway was just pulled right out of the house. There was no way to get up, and so we had to wait for neighbors to come over and pull us out of the house. When I ended up doing traffic control at that intersection, these people started coming down the street, and I saw the devastation on their faces. And one father was carrying his son, and the son's arm was almost severed at the shoulder, and he was trying to keep it from bleeding and find help. 290 people went to the hospital that night. I was in a trailer in Fridley Terrace, and I grabbed my two little girls and tried to stay on the floor, and then the refrigerator came over on top of us. They said another one was touching down. Somebody took my other little girl, and then my baby and I ran to a house, and we were there until we came here. I didn't think it was near as bad as what it was until it was over, and I looked outside and saw trailers next to me over on top of the trailers next to them. I'm from the West, you see, and I don't know much about these things, and so then uh, I put the car in. I don't know why, because the garage fell in on it, but uh, then I went down the basement, and it, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I guess you could um, say confusion. I don't think anyone knew the extent of it until it was uh, until afterwards. But it's such a tremendous sight to see our people with the courage they have. The help that we as a family received from my fellow workers, church, everybody around me was probably one of the greatest things that I really remember out of this. My uh, wedding dress was hanging in a closet at one end of the house and his uh, shotgun was at another end of the house. Under the roof, the wedding dress was wrapped in the shotgun. I was in so much shock that uh, I guess I really didn't at the time realize the impact this thing was making on my life. I have my family. That was the main thing. But uh, boy, I sure lost everything else. I, I always love storms. I still love storms. There's something about them that's very exciting to me, and I get energized by storms. My oldest son, he's still deathly scared of storms. I am still deathly scared of storms. Respect storms. <laughs> Respect all of nature. Charlie Boone here in the afternoon with uh, the aftermath of the big storm last night. I want to thank the people that were on hand last night. Roger uh, Erickson, of course, is in the helicopter. We'll hear from him in just minutes. Dick Chapman, Rob Brown, Rob who came in and manned the phone. Dick who did such an incredible job anchoring the emergency studio. Bob Johnson, Freddie Herman in the engineering studio. We'll be talking with the mayor of Fridley and also uh, Strube from the Weather Bureau. We'll have more from your good neighbor on WCCO. Well, that was the storm simulator for you guys. That was freaking awesome. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, because why wouldn't you? It's just lit. But uh, subscribe for more content, and uh, until next time, guys, peace.